Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to Soul Family Read uh, for the 14th of uh, October. Um, I know I can get the month right. The days and the week are oh, it's tough for me. But I'm usually there, you know, for the month, you know. I'll tell you what degree everything is at and, and my chart, <laughs> you know, in terms of transit. So, Soul Family Read, Collective Read, whoever resonates, doesn't matter your sign. Think Terrence McKenna, find the others. I know I'm in close. It's a rough morning for me. I'm going to do this, see how it goes. And, um, you know, it's uh, recorded, so if I feel like it's you know, not working, I'll pull it. But, I've uh, been sick, and so I try to get a day ahead, and now I'm not, so I like to get this out early. And this morning, you know, I managed to get out a little article on uh, my Eros return, the asteroid Eros, uh, which is linked to the asteroid Psych, if you know your astrology, uh, so I do astrology too. So that will be linked to, to my, uh, below in the reading here, I'll put a link to that article on my Facebook page. You feel free to join Facebook or post. I don't really post too much about tarot. I do post a lot about astrology. Um, it's just uh, how I am, you know. It's not so interested in the theory about uh, tarot. Uh, if you're interested, uh, Tarot of the Bohemian is the guide to the esoteric kingdom. Not just tarot, like everything, but it really goes into as a book that was written in 1893, I think. It was uh, reissued and published by, uh, I can find it on Google, um, Tarot of the Bohemian. Fascinating. But, uh, so, you know, it was on my mind today, Eros, because it's my Eros' return, you know. Technically, yesterday I really nailed it, but, um, and, you know, Eros is kind of in orbit near Mars, 643-day orbit. Um, so it's a couple year cycle, sort of like, like Mars. Um, it's not like a huge cycle. It's one of the closer asteroids, you know. Um, it uh, has to do with your erotic nature. It's kind of li linked to Mars, close to Mars. It's a similar orbit. Um, but it drills down more into the, you know, Mars about sexuality. It's kind of like your, your king, your uh, exact um, position. Mine is conjunct seven. I mean by 20 minutes, it's so close. Um, so it also means that Eris is on my Saturn. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, so cool I'll leave that um, uh, if you want to check the article. But oh, we're just going to make this about, uh, uh, you know, as I do the daily reading here, it's Thursday. Um, kind of have in mind, you know, the erotic nature. Why not? You know, uh, I honestly, uh, when I started studying transits and I went back immediately and looked at my own chart uh, from the, uh, around the 21st of uh, May 20, 2008, when I had this catastrophic autoimmune attack that hit out of nowhere. And um, when I did, I found that, uh, to my surprise that Eros was figuring prominently. So it does have to do with the body as well. Now that's probably why linked to Mars it has to do with the erotic nature so let's see what we get this is going to be wow the Sun thank you <laughs> this is where we're at in terms of love and relationship right now spirituality manifestation and we're coming in showing up with this Sun energy which I gotta love right now I'm gonna take that like a promise you know I've been really under the weather it's starting to come back uh, now uh, thank you sit bro um, so this is feeling pretty good, you know, and it's like I kind of do. Uh, and yesterday it was about the sun. If you watch yesterday's Soul Family Read, interesting that it shows back up. I mean, I did readings with these cards yesterday and shuffled a lot. So it's not just about the shuffling. Um, it's about the universe trying to say something. And I conclude myself in this reading. Uh, for me, the Eros is also a part of my sun self, expression of myself. Sexuality is an expression of yourself, and it's always been repressed for me. Uh, I notice that I tend to choose partners. Uh, it's, my sexuality is somewhat suppressed, but it's that I choose partners that help me <laughs> suppress it. <laughs> and uh, now, no, thank God, I <laughs> uh, feel like some healings come in. Maybe that's the sun, because it is my heiress return. 
And I li literally, with this relationship, the song that comes to mind is sexual healing. It's kind of corny, but it's really healing in every other way. Caron's big for me right now. It's going on a lot of healing. Um, and I love seeing the sun here. It's kind of like this reassurance for me. Um, I feel like my fire's coming back, so that's really good. As I was saying yesterday, you really need to express your sun self, or it leads to physical trouble, actually. And look at the advice from spirit. Walk away from mental patterns, sorcerers of mental patterns, thoughts, communication, negative talk. This is me. Um, it's hard not to be negative when you're in, in pain a lot and struggling physically and stuff. Um, um, but, you know, that's the challenge to stay uh, po focused on the positive. So no matter how bad it is, you can always look around and find something positive. And so that's kind of what I do. Thank you, Spirit. I get that. And this is the advice from Spirit. Jeez, thank you. It's like, I think Spirit knows I'm kind of tired today. <laughs> this is like... Uh, it's so direct, you know, uh, it doesn't really require interpretation. So the advice from spirit is to bring things into balance here. And two uh, pinnacles I want to say, you know, this is the sun's major arcana. That's a blessing there. It's saying that, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm in a good place to get back into my sun self, to manifest in spite of everything. You know, I'm being positive. I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling genuinely grateful, honestly. So... This is bringing things into balance in our personal life because this is personal energy. This is making the effort. This is not something the angels do with us. This is getting enough sleep, eating right, exercising, loving ourselves, uh, self-care. I mean, everything from going to the dentist when you need to go and brushing your teeth when you need to um, and taking care of your body and balancing your life, and boy, I tell you, that speaks to me huge, Saturn, six house transit, daily routine, really struggling, and in a good way, learning and doing the what's necessary to have a, a balanced life, uh, and be able to do my work here, and it's been really stressful, uh, and now I'm up to five readings, and plus, you know, I have a lot of research I do with astrology, I do charts, uh, and, you know, I'm getting better, but, you know, if I do a personal chart and I take someone's money, you know, I'm going to spend a couple hours at least, you know, going over their chart. Usually it's something I'm going to have to research. And then, you know, an hour, hour and a half talking to them, merely more. I usually go into more. <clears throat> so that's hours a day. And I want to have time left over, you know, to have a life. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so that's what all that's about. And uh, it's good advice, and again, it's a blessing. It's thank you, I'm doing it. And the outcome is the tower. Yeah, it's like something's coming down. Uh, <coughs> the tower's not bad. It's like, this is, I know the tower, I want the tower down. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> I just got a cough and get it over with. So, the tower's coming down. Uh, it's kind of a process, I think. And it's ongoing. It's part of transformation, you know. Um, the tower, I think, a lot. And it's Uranus energy, too. Uranus is stationing. It's slowing down. It's a while yet, but um, I think it's at 14 degrees. It's, it's posing my uh, Venus energy here. Um, and I still got Saturn uh, squaring my Venus. It's all kind of problems for me. A channel here. I get it. I saw that. I saw that square. So I'm kind of screwed this year. You know, but I still got to keep doing what I'm doing to a pinnacles, balancing things, keeping it going and trust that, you know, the reward will come. But I think we're in for this. Don't be afraid of it, you know, but something's going to come along. You know, we got the sun as we're coming in and then we got the tower. And so it's not to be afraid of. This could very much be something's going to be cleared out of our way. I got the feeling this is not like a bad thing at all. This is like uh, something I think is going to miraculously, I'm going to say miraculously, unexpectedly, Uranus energy. Look at where Uranus is in your chart. Um, Saturn's going to be coming back into square with it now that it's direct. They're going to have their, it, I don't think it's really a final square. This is a long dance with the Saturn-Uranus square. It's a huge year, people. Personally, things, things are breaking apart. Things are changing. New cycles starting. Got to break it up, you know. Unless you're banging on and everything's fine, you just keep going. That's not the case for many of us. 
Probably you're not watching tarot, it's not the case. If you are watching tarot, it's not the case. So this is going to be something that comes along. Think of it like something that clears the path for us, clears the path. And try to keep that in mind because it, when it happens, it might be like, oh, fuck. But if you really thought and think about it, um, years later, you look back, this kind of thing, you'll be absolutely sure. Wow, thank God that happened. It was for the best. But we might, because of tarot, hopefully watching this, immediately as it happens, I think we're going to be like, ah, ha, ha, I see what's going on here. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. And everybody else might be going, oh, my God, oh, my God. And you're just going, thank you. I get it. I get it. Thank you. I see what's going on here. Absolutely. The way it's going to be. And the Queen of Cups, again, on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> uh, it figured yesterday somehow, I think, prominently. Um, and this is how I feel. I feel like Queen of Cups, you know. Um, I'm in the Empress Club on Facebook. I have a lot of divine feminine energy. And, and this is emotionally being whole, mostly being mature, mostly being available. Um, and it's everything um, that's necessary, I think, you know. Uh, the high, the Queen of uh, Cups, I believe, becomes the High Priestess that I keep talking about. It's on the deck, the Ethereal Visions deck. Um, so it's like that's where we're moving. Maybe what happens is whatever this tower is, this is what sets us up to move uh, really into our energy, which might be, you know, I believe if you're watching this whole family read, you know, healers, light workers, whatever you're doing, you know, this maybe is going to be the leveling up from the Queen of Cups, which is awesome. Just stay like that and die happy as a queen, you know. But maybe what we're leveling up to is the High Priestess. You know, it gets a little more serious, takes everything to a higher level. So thank you guys. Um, I'm sorry I'm behind on some of the readings. I still got to do the singles for Gemini Cancer. And I'm going to try to get back on track today. Um... We'll see. I'll probably be a day behind, but we'll be putting out four readings with the Gemini Cancer Singles reading and then the Leo and Virgo uh, soul, uh, the uh, heart spreads for them, and which is uh, for Wednesday normally, but I'm a day behind. And um, then also the singles for Leo and Virgos. I hope we get caught up by the end of the week here so I get to feeling better. So, thank you guys. I like this reading. I mean, I tried to do it quick because I ain't got a lot in me, but it's very reassuring to me. It's dead on, and it's uh, just um, very um, cut and dry. Thank you, guys. <laughs>